guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PayPal payment gateway. So you want to go to payment gateway on the left hand side here and be sure to select PayPal. Make sure that this box is checked. And now you'll see we have a bunch of API keys to fill in here. We'll need to create these. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So head over to developer.paypal.com. I've put that link in the description below. You will be asked to log in here, so log into your PayPal account and then go to the dashboard and you should see a page like this that says My Apps and Credentials. Scroll down until you find REST API Apps and you want to say Create App. I'm just going to make this WP Test and this is just sandbox email account so select whatever one you want it doesn't matter and say create app now you will have a sandbox and a live sandbox is for testing so for the sandbox we want to copy this client ID go back to our WordPress website and copy it in here then we want to go back to get the secret, say show. We want to copy this key and paste it in here into the sandbox client secret. Then scroll back up, switch to live, copy this client ID and paste it into the live client ID. Back to your dashboard and show the secret. Copy your live secret key and paste it into the live client secret key. This is where your PayPal email address will go. Your merchant account ID, um, you can find this by just clicking on this link. It'll show you exactly where to find it. The return URL, this should have been created when you activated the membership plugin. If it's not, all you need to do is create a page put this short code onto it and then make sure that you select that page in this drop down here and press the save options button. You guys have copied in your API keys. There's a couple settings you need to check. You want to scroll down below your API keys where it says live app settings. Um, you don't need invoicing, you don't need payouts. You want to go advanced options. You need to make sure that billing agreement is checked here and then you want to save these changes and you need to do this with both the live and sandbox so you want to go to sandbox and sandbox app settings and the same thing you can uncheck these make sure accept payments is checked make sure that billing agreements is checked for both sandbox and live now to set up PayPal webhooks. Um, PayPal requires that you have an SSL certificate. Uh, so you can purchase that from your hosting company. If you don't have an SSL, uh, it doesn't mean that you can't receive payments or create memberships. All it means that in your payments area, you won't see PayPal payments show up here. You will still be getting paid. You can still log into PayPal and see all your previous payments, refund them, do whatever you need. Um, all the webhook is doing is basically saying, okay, pull the PayPal data, the payments, and put them into my WordPress dashboard. So again, this step isn't required for the memberships plugin to work, but if you want to see your payments in this area uh, and able to refund them from within your admin area, you will need an SSL. And you'll see here that the site I'm on right now isn't an SSL, which is why it's not letting me create them. But if you are in an SSL, you will see a blue button here that says Create PayPal Webhook. And all you gotta do is click that button, and as long as your API details are in, which we just created here, your webhooks will be set up and then you're ready to go.